Hello everybody, Dr. Darok here, and today I am going to show you how to go from this to this in Legacy Mode. So my setup here, I'm using a uh, Sea Singers hood for my helm, a Sea Singers robe top, and uh, Sea Singers robe bottoms um, for body armor. I'm using uh, Rage Fire boots, the Spellcaster gloves from Dominion Tower, the Sixth Age circuit in my ring slot. I've got a skill cape on, if you have one, wear that, and the Vampirism Aura which is very useful. And most importantly, I am dual wielding uh, with magic. I definitely prefer the dual wield as opposed to using something like a Staff of Light. Um, I'm using the Abyssal Wand and Abyssal Orb. It's possible that a Wand of Treachery with an Ahrim's Book could uh, do as well. And the Sea Singers is probably a little bit over the top. You could probably go with Ganodermic and definitely survive. For the most part, just adjust my setup down to your level, your tier, and uh, your amount of wealth. And, um, oh yeah, I'm wearing an Amulet of Fury, but the Dragon Rider Amulet is actually a better choice. Now, of course, no method is guaranteed, but I'll discuss with you my method. So in my inventory, I have, um, basically, my inventory is just full of potions. I've got three overloads, three overload flasks, three prayer renewal flasks, I've got six Super Restore flasks, and the rest is Ceradomen Brew flasks, aside from my runes. Now, the technique is very, very easy, and if you did fight caves back in the day, it's not going to be anything new to you. You want to take down the Tizke first, which are the uh, prayer draining bats, with using Ice Barrage, for example, and uh, dual wielding the Abyssal Wand and Abyssal Orb, you'll take them down in seconds. As with most other mobs in the fight caves, as a matter of fact, the biggest thing to remember is that there's no longer any way to have 100 protection against uh, damaging attacks any longer. So you will definitely have to be able to tank damage and eat it. If you are not going to use EOC, in which you can use your adrenaline bar to heal yourself, you're going to need some other way to heal yourself, and you're going to need to consume food or Ceradomen brews. In this case, since I have overloads, I went with the Ceradomen brews, but um, you could definitely downgrade to something like uh, sharks with a couple of brews and uh, just pot up after you use the brews and try and uh, retain the sharks for when you're taking high damage or something like that. You guys know how combat works. So you'll want to take out these Tizke first. They're the bats, and um, they will drain your prayer while they are attacking you. Once you've taken down the first bat, the second wave will come. That's two bats. And then after that, the Tizkek. The Tizkek are level 45, and they split into two level 22s whenever you kill them. So uh, really, it's three mobs you have to fight each time. Once you kill a couple more bats and get up to... Uh, two Tizkex. The next thing you're going to face is the level 90 Ranger, the Toxil. Now, the Toxil has both a ranged attack and a mage attack, and you want to take him out first at this point after you've taken out the bat. The next new addition comes at wave 15, and it is the Eat Magicot, who is the large melee healer priest thing. So you're going to want to freeze him, run away, and uh, just shoot spells at him till he's down, and uh, that's very easy to do. Now at this point, you may want to start uh, taking yourself over to the Italy Rock and trapping things on there. Um, I don't really bother before I get to the point where things are more hectic. Um, and as a matter of fact, I find it more effective to trap Eat Medjkot on the other side of the Toxils, take down the Toxils, and often, um, you know, use your Splash Magic attack, Area of Effect, to uh, hit Eat Medjkot at the same time, while you don't have to worry about even staying away from him. Um, that's a method that I like to use, and you'll see that um, often I will trap mobs uh, against the walls. So we all know how this goes. After two Eat Medjkots, the next thing you'll get to fight is 
the Ket Zek. The Ket Zek is level 360, and it uses de very, very, very accurate magic attacks. They are not extremely powerful, but they are super super accurate, and you're going to take a significant amount of damage from these guys. Um, I would say to put on uh, Protect from Magic or Deflect from Magic if you've got it. Uh, Soul Split is also a great option to uh, get your hit points back. Um, and pretty much you just want to tank through these. Uh, take down the Ket Zek first. Well, the Tuzkiz are kind of important to take down if you care about your prayer points. But take down those Ket Zeks because they will do a ton of damage. If you can block them while you take down the rest of the waves, maybe use Vampirism and Soul Split to heal off of the other mobs. That's, that's my personal strategy. Um, and I found it to be very effective. So basically, you're going to do that for the next, you know, 32 waves-ish. Look out, here comes to stock John. So Tuztalk Jad is a level 720 powerhouse. And um, basically you want to be down here at the Italy Rock in the southwest corner of the arena because there is only one possible spawn for Jad that he won't get trapped. If he does happen to spawn next to you, don't panic. You can still run around the Italy Rock and be safe on the other side, and he will be within sight. Now, fortunately for me, I got a good spawn and managed to lure him very well. You want to have Protect from Range on whenever the wave starts because it is harder to detect by audio beforehand his ranged attack. His magic attack, on the other hand, is very detectable as long as you have sound effects on and you are able to hear his attack. This is what it looks like and sounds like when he uses the magic attack. And this is what it looks like and sounds like when he uses the ranged attack. Now at about halfway through the battle with Sistalk Jad, he'll summon healers. In my arrogance, I tried to kill him through the healers, but I realized after a little while that it wasn't going to happen, so I lured the healers and then realized that they were still healing him. So I had to take down the healers, and uh, boom. Jad was not very difficult, um, but the most important thing with Jad is to stay calm. Do not panic. Once you get there, before before you kill Tuzkek, or before you kill the la before you kill the last cat Zek, take a couple deep breaths, okay? Calm down, calm your nerves, get rid of the jitters, okay? And whenever you kill that cat Zek, make sure you're in the right place, you're not panicking, you've got your protect from ranged on, and you're ready to go. If you can do that, eventually he'll go down, you'll get the fire cape, and we can move on to the next fight. Thanks for watching everybody, this has been Dr. Darog. Coming soon, my guide for doing the fight kiln with magic in legacy mode. Catch you next time!